This is the fifth section of chapter three on equations and inequalities, and this section is on quadratic inequalities. So if we want to solve a quadratic inequality, first of all, we need to find the roots of the quadratic. I've drawn a sketch down here, and these roots for this example, A and B. Then we need to draw a sketch of the quadratic. Now, the reason we use a sketch is because the different parts of the graph are going to help us solve different inequalities. So the part of the graph which is above the y-axis will tell us which values of the roots give the quadratic greater than zero. So greater than zero is just above the axis. The bit below the axis, this inequality here, um, will help us solve the quadratic less than zero, f of x less than zero. And actually, in between those, when f of x equals zero, these are the roots. So when we're solving f of x equals zero, it will be exactly these values here. So the actual solutions to the quadratics for this particular one, for f of x greater than zero, that will be when x is less than a. Let me highlight this. So x less than a, that's this part of the quadratic, and x greater than b, so that's this part. And then for the other part at the bottom, the solution is between A and B. So that means X is between A and B. I can uh, write it as a single uh, inequality. And that's going to be this part of the graph down here. So I would always suggest drawing a sketch so you can physically see whether it's above the axis, whether it's below the axis, whether the two inequalities are separated out or whether they're joined together. And I've just added on like what the inequalities would look like as a diagram so you can physically see what those solutions are in between A and B here for this bottom part, less than A greater than B for this top part up here. Example nine, find the set of values of X for which three minus five X minus 2x squared is less than 0. Now, I could leave the quadratic in this form, but because I've got a negative 2 in front of x squared, I'm actually going to start by multiplying um, everything by negative 1, so, just so that I get a positive coefficient. I'll just find those easier to deal with. I mean, it's totally up to you um, which way you do it. So I've got 3 minus 5x minus 2x squared is less than 0. Multiplying everything by negative 1, I'll get 2x squared, and I'm just swapping the terms around as well, plus 5x minus 3. Now, because I've multiplied by a negative number, we flip the sign. Okay, so my next job now is going to try and factorise this quadratic. Now, it may not necessarily be obvious how this is going to factorise, so I'm just going to use the quadratic equation with a as 2, b5, and c as negative 3. So x is going to equal uh, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared, 5 squared, minus 4 times a times c, negative 3, all over... 2a, so 2 times 2. So that will give me negative 5 plus or minus the square root. So this will be 25. And then I've got minus 4 times 2, which is 8 times by negative 3, which is going to be negative 24. So it will become plus 24 minus minus. And then that gets divided by 4. So I'll have negative 5. Now 24 plus 25 is 49. And square root of 49 is going to be 7. So plus or minus 7 all over 4. So that will give me these roots. Uh, minus 5 over 4. And that's going to be plus 7 um, over 4. So let's just do that all in one go. So we'll do negative 7, sorry, negative 5 plus 7, which is 2, and that's going to be 2 over 4, which is a half. 
and then the other root is going to be negative 5, negative 7, which is negative 12, divided by 4, negative 12 divided by 4, and so that's going to be negative 3. So I've got my two roots here, let's just highlight them, x is a half, x is negative 3. So now I'm going to draw my sketch. So it just needs to be a sketch because I want to see whether it's above or below. Now because I've got greater than zero here, I'm looking at the part of the graph which is above the axis. So let me just highlight that. So that's this part and this part. And these two parts occur um, here when x is less than three and here or less than negative three and here when it's greater than a half. They're separate so I need to write my inequality uh, as two separate inequalities. So x less than negative three, x greater than a half. And if I do that in set notation x and I've got x uh, less than negative three so I can write it like this separate and it's that or so I use the union symbol and I could actually put the word or here as well x dot and then x greater than a half so I'll just highlight those solutions so either in that form or in set notation like this Example 10. Part A. Find a set of values of x for which 12 plus 4x is greater than x squared. So we'll start with part A first. So 12 plus 4x greater than x squared. So I'll just rearrange it so I've got all the terms on one side. So I'll have x squared minus 4x, take away 4x from both sides, minus 12 is less than zero. I think I can factorize this one because I'm thinking of six and two for this. So six and two, I want minus 12, negative 12, minus four, so it's gonna be minus six plus two. So that my roots are gonna be x equals minus two or x equal to 6. What I want to do is a sketch of this so that I can see where my inequalities are going to be. So 6 and negative 2, just a sketch so it's not to scale. It's a u-shaped quadratic, so it's going to be like this. It's the bit above the axis if I was solving greater than 0 but this is less than zero, so I want the bit below the axis. So I basically want to do this as an inequality. And that would be that x is between 6 and negative 2. So greater uh, than negative 2 and less than 6. Now I've also put... Uh, the solution is set notation and this can be written in one or two ways using the intersect symbol or you can put the complete the whole inequality in a single bracket like that so if we move on to part b it says hence now whenever you see the word hence it means you're going to be uh, using something that you've already worked out or it would be helpful to do that use whatever your previous part is find a set of values for which 12 plus 4x is greater than x squared, now I've just solved that, that's these set of values, and, so we've got the word and here, so we're thinking about overlap, intersect, 5x minus 3 is greater than 2, so let's solve that, so 5x minus 3 is greater than 2, add 3 to both sides, 5x is greater than 5, divide both sides by 5, x is greater than 1, so I have this inequality here, and I have this inequality here from part A. Because I have and, I'm looking for the overlap of these inequalities. So let me draw it on a number line. So 0 
in the middle somewhere. Let's do this inequality. So it's between negative 2 and 6. So let's put um, negative 2 here. Let's put 6 here, not to scale. And that would look like this. Negative 2 to 6. And for this one here, I want to draw x is greater than 1. So I'll just add the number 1 on here somewhere. And x greater than 1 is going to look like this. Because of this word and, I'm looking for the overlap of both the inequalities, which is this part here. And that's going to be where x is between 1 and 6. So it's less than 6 and it's greater than 1. Now I've also put the solutions here in set notation as well. Example 11. Find a set of values for which 6 over x is greater than 2. Now here it says x can't be equal to 0. That doesn't affect the working that we're going to do. That's just going to stop us from doing 6 divided by 0. Now I've put a little bit of information here uh, to help you avoid a common mistake. So in this type of question, it's tempting just to multiply both sides by x so that you would have um, 6 is greater than 2x and then you'll go on to say okay 2x is less than 6 and then x is less than 3. That would actually be incorrect. That wouldn't give you the correct solution. So this here would be wrong. And the reason it's wrong and the problem is that x could be positive or negative. We're multiplying by x we know x can't be 0, but it could be a positive number or a negative number. And it could be that we need to reverse the inequality sign because we don't know whether x is positive or negative. And x actually could take any of those values. Now, to avoid this problem, we'll multiply both sides by x squared. Since x squared is always positive, that means we don't need to worry about the sign. So if you ever get a question like this, and um, uh, particularly if it's something like that, 6 over x, something over x, what you'll need to do is multiply both sides by x squared rather than x. We really want to avoid getting an inequality like this and times in both sides by x for the reason I've just stated. And if we do that, what we'll get is 6x is greater than 2x squared. Now, I don't need to reverse the sign because x squared is always positive. It doesn't matter whether x is positive or negative. x squared is always positive. So from there, what I'll have is 2x squared minus 6x is less than 0. This is a quadratic that can be factorized. And in fact, what I'll do first is divide both sides by 2. So I'll have x squared minus 3x is less than 0. Factorise it, take x out. So I'll have x and then x minus 3 is less than 0. So my roots are going to be x equals 0 or x equals 3. I'll now draw the quadratic. So I'll just draw an axis here, a pair of axes, um, 0 and so 0 and 3 is where my u-shaped quadratic is going to go through the axis like this. I want to solve this when it's less than 0. So that means I need the bit below the axis. So that's uh, this bit down here. That's the less than 0 part. And so that is between 0 and 3. So my solution would be x is going to be less than 3, greater than 0. Or if I'm going to do it in set notation, I could say x colon x greater than 0, close curly brackets, intersect x colon x less than 3. Or uh, 
uh, alternative way in set notation is x colon and then um, x is greater than 0 less than 3 so we'll just highlight that so you only need to really give your answers in set notation if a question specifies that you need to give your answers in set notation so you should now be able to complete exercise 3e on pages 50 to 51 of the textbook